G'day and thank you for joining me. I'm Faintly Saintly, and today we're looking at the demo of Never Looted Dungeon, available now through the Steam Next Fest in October 2024. So this, from what I gather, is a dungeon crawler. I believe it's first person, physics based, lots of traps, lots of uh, mazes and creatures and other hazards, and uh, it just looks really interesting. So I thought I'd jump in and give it a try. If you accept the quest, you can wishlist this on Steam. I will have the link in the description as well if this interests you. I believe the final release date is slated for 2025. So let's jump in. Difficulty settings. Novice, experienced, or almost epic. What is the difference? Difficulty of traps just goes from 0 to 100. Highlight, uh, valuables are highlighted. Traps are 50% lethal, 50% amount of monsters, and... 50% lethality of monsters. I might embarrass myself, but we'll jump into experience, even though I've never played before, and we'll just see exactly what this is going to be like. Adjust the brightness so that the object on the left is barely visible, and the object on the right is clearly visible. We'll just pop that out of there. It is. Looks good. Profile name, Saintly. There we are. I was browsing through Next Fest, and I just saw the trailer playing for this one, I thought, oh, okay, this one's worth a try. It looks very fun and also very dangerous. All right, where are we? We're at a little campsite here with some glowing mushrooms. Briefly press right-click to... Oh. Briefly press right-click to pick up objects. Hold to grab them. You can adjust the hold delay in the settings. Let's test this out. So tap to pick up the sword. Hold. There we go. Makes sense. Do I want... Oh, control is a backwards dash, not a crouch. C is crouch. And I guess we take the food, because I imagine we might need it. Okay, scroll wheel selects your items there. Left click swings. You've got your stamina bar in the bottom left. Not going that way. We're going deeper into the dungeon. Maybe a torch. Can I grab this torch? I can. Ever, bur ever burning and smokeless. That's what we want. Space to jump. I'm already paranoid about traps. One, two to zero, and the mouse wheel will equip an item for your instant pockets. Press left click to use the item in your hand. Okay, we can smash those with the sword. I heard something walking around. What is that? That looks out of place in a dungeon. Flashing lights. Skulls, bones. Secret entrance, eh? Why do I feel like this might be one of those famous traps? Okay, hold R, oh sorry, right mouse button to grab objects while holding, sorry, while grabbing, hold R or V and move the mouse to rotate. Hold R, okay, or V, right. I'm sure that will come in useful at some point if there's puzzles and things to be completed. So holding R, we can rotate that and fair enough, okay. Now you can shift with sprint. Obviously uses some of your stamina. Uh-oh. Lost my torch. Water extinguishes fire and torches. To relight it, unequip, then re-equip your torch by pressing T. Yeah, there you go. I thought I'd have to find another fire source to reignite it. Space to climb ledges, there we are. It's all very atmospheric, isn't it? Left shift to run. Don't know how much running we want to be doing when we're into the real stuff. I thought I'd be a contrarian and go opposite 
to where the arrow is pointing me. Didn't seem to pay off this time. I just don't trust anything yet. Run using left shift and then press space to perform a long jump. Okay. First thought was that wouldn't require a long jump, but yeah, jumping is pretty stunted in this game, so I need to keep that in mind. And this way to glory. Certainly here's something rummaging around out there. When you die, the next loot starts in the last bedroll you visited. Okay. Pumpkin. Okay, you can smash this stuff, which is good. Assuming there's anything in there. Disclaimer, by entering this dungeon to loot its treasure, you acknowledge that you are aware of the presence of various deadly traps in said dungeon. The dungeon owners are in no way liable for any permanent curse, dismemberment, irreversible brain damage, or slow and painful death you may suffer. It's reassuring, isn't it? Can't lift that, can't see a lever. C to crouch. I hope there's not too much water in here, I really dislike water. We do have a little oxygen bar in there as well, which we'll need to keep in mind when we are diving. Relight this torch. The outer gate. Press left control and a direction to dodge. There we are. Hold right click to block. Good. Dodging. Oh, yep, so you got the physics based lever there. And is this just where we came from? It is. Alright, there's a rat. Trying to throw a box at him. He doesn't seem too concerned about that. Finally, bro. I just dodged into the trap. That's good, isn't it? I can see I'm going to be very good at this game. <laughs> Get out of here. The iron kiss is broken. Right. Press right click to loot the corpse, press tab to open and close the inventory. We have a club or a cudgel as well. And a stone. What have you got? Some bread. Oh, you have the full uh, loadout slots here as well. Can I eat the pumpkin? How do I? I don't want to do that. Yep, so the whole pumpkin. So, cudgel. I don't really have damage stats or anything like that that I can see. Um, okay. Hmm, there's something in there. Think about games that let you like pick up and move objects like this. That's why it's so nice. Something is blocking the door. You can see that. But are you going to let me unblock it? You are. That's a nice touch. I 
stolen the trap. Something under here as well. Gold. And a stamina potion. bit paranoid because I don't even know what kind of traps to expect. Obviously there's the bear traps on the ground, but it could be spike traps in the ceilings, it could be trapped doors. Just don't know. Where is my sword by the way? I should bring that back out. Okie dokie, what's this all about? Ah, oh, those gates. May as well open those up. What's this then? Looks like we have a way up, maybe? Very cool. What do the stones do? I wonder if you can throw them and trigger traps and things. Was I meant to go this way? An explorer trophy. Oh, you can examine items. Okay, so if you find a little uh, hidden path like this, you might get a trophy. I don't know what they do. Maybe just a collectible. Maybe you get rewarded if you find enough. Who's to say? Stick. Oh, we're back up above the starting little area there. Nice. That ladder wasn't always there, was it? Sure, they're not that blind. Then again, uh, I shouldn't be too surprised by missing things like that. So. We've opened up the doors in here, haven't we? Sort of gives me the, uh, you know, the Lethal Company lighting vibes, just... The darkness is really aggressive. Like, your light is very close proximity and... The shadows are really strong beyond your immediate vicinity. To avoid being detected, hide in the shadows, sneak slowly, and be careful where you step to make minimal noise. The eye icon indicates how hidden you are in the shadows. What eye icon? Do I have to put my torch away? That might be a bit... Uh... Oh, there it is. Okay. So you specifically have to crouch and sneak for the eye icon. Is it telling me that for any particular reason? Like, do I need to sneak past this rat? Wait for him to turn around. Okay, I wonder how forgiving this is. Doesn't seem too bad. Like, if we're in the darkness, it feels like... ...pretty lax. And again, it is just a rat, so who knows. Use a sword on banner. What does that achieve? Oh, 
All right, well, he's obviously another demonstration of a, a trap we can expect. And a mug and some bread. I'll take the bread. Another bedroll. Which is good. Use sword on banner. The things may be hidden behind them. And why is it an interaction? Why couldn't you just like swing the sword at it? Questions. That may be answered. Ah, oh, press F to kick. Oh, there you go. Got the Duke, Duke Nukem. Uh, <laughs> mighty boot. You only really counts if you can get both legs kicking at the same time. What was that? Oh. Arrow trap. A life potion. How convenient. Press left click to drink or eat the item in your hand. Uh, I'm going to put that life potion right there. I don't need to keep the gold on my belt, I wouldn't think. So let me get that out, and that's it, one and done. Arrow is pointing one way, so naturally I go the opposite. Grab some gold. The presence of gold implies the presence of shops, right? Oh, we might have just found the bottom of a trap we were about to walk into. A goat skin. Spoon. You can keep your spoon. A shield. Okay. Nice. Jump now. Don't want to fall for that. Yeah, exactly. So, lots to watch out for already. Little tiny holes in the wall appear to be dart traps. You got, if the path is just like two slabs like that. So pitfall trap. Press middle mouse to throw the item in your hand. So I might bring out a stone. Okay, I only have five. Uh, there we are, middle mouse. Very good. Can I get in there? Man, I'm going to lose focus and just walk into something repeatedly. I can already tell. Mace in bad condition. Slice of bread, yes please. Piece of gold, why not? Got my stone back. I love the contrast of the, you know, the dark, gloomy dungeon and then the big, you know, flashing lights. <laughs> Pay attention to details. The dungeon is full of secrets. So this brick has a little crack in it. Which is actually a button.
thought they'd be cheeky and sort of hide one that we would have just walked past without knowing to look for it. Maybe they're not that mean. What's here? I've got another rat. Roadwork signs, no trespassing signs. Again, the juxtaposition between ancient dungeon and modern signs is amusing. Trespassers will be burned, dismembered, permanently cursed, and probably die a horrible death. How many hits of the bloody sword does a rat take? Get out of here. So, based on that little interaction, combat is worth avoiding. Because you very quickly run out of stamina, then you start taking hits. meant to be movable maybe maybe not there is a bit of movement there is another box right there though so maybe it's just to happen. Let it go. There is, however, a letter. I wonder how reliable this will be to uh, build a little platform. Quite often you'll see, you know, the physics engine of these sort of games won't really handle it too well. And that's perfectly fine. So what was in here after all of that? A scholar trophy. Broken. Oh, that's not good. I should have taken that mace. Okay. So things also have pretty extreme durability as well, which is good to know. Another reason to maybe avoid combat, except as a last resort. So just out of curiosity, good condition. That's all we get to know. We don't get numbers. We don't get a a bar or anything like that, it's just a brief description. Hmm. Is that to explore or is that to recover when you fall down? There's a fish and a crab. Dear Lord. Alright. Oh, 
Ooh. Uh, where did that come from? A generic projectile? I can take those as well. Must have been a tripwire or something. In a courtyard. There's a vending machine in this dungeon. Oh. That's dangerous. All these consumables are barely recovering my health as well. So what does a life potion cost me from the vending machine? Ten gold coins. I think that's a worthwhile investment. <laughs> the rubbish bin. Oh dear. The Wise Looter Volume 1. When exploring a dungeon full of deadly traps, avoid running around without looking where you're stepping. To survive, you better be careful. I've never rushed into a dungeon, which is why I'm still alive after so many years. Leroy the Wise. Well said. So after those few wax, this cudgel is still in good condition. So what was in here? Some bones and a an amethyst. And a piece of gold. Two pieces of gold. Okay, so I wonder if the amethysts do anything or they're just for selling somewhere. Locked door over there, a rat eating a corpse, a well, which I'm sure has something to uh something to it. have many rooms to explore. I'm just going to be suspicious of every empty room now. I thought it was a pitfall, but it was actually an arrow trap. Thankfully, uh, I spotted it, and luckily it didn't hit me anyway, because <laughs> that was dumb. Shell of almost endless water. Oh, it's a fire extinguisher. <laughs> okay. Uh, the old facilities. Are you injured? Do you have a torn limb? Is internal bleeding slowly causing you to pass out? Not to worry, with Life Potion, your wounds will soon be a bad memory. Go to page 124 for a review of the new recipe with slightly less sugar and an incredible strawberry flavor. Ah, oh, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? 
Hello? Enduramax ring. Stamina regeneration boost minor. 22 out of 100 recharges. That's interesting. Okay, I didn't end up recruiting that one bit actually. Rats over there. Alrighty, plenty of food. Oops, that wasn't food. The Awakening of the Dead Coffee. Interesting. A knife. Might be a nice weapon replacement if I need it. Lots of pumpkins. Lots of bread. Out of space. I can't stack the pumpkins, I'm assuming. No. Hmm. I feel like I'm just being thrown right in here. The art of fighting. Simply wielding a sword isn't enough to be a good fighter. In this series, we'll teach you the art of fighting to help you survive your first few fights. Is there more to this? Oh, my frames have just tanked. Should I have not picked up this book? Uh-oh. I've dropped the book, but I still have it equipped. What is happening here? I might need to restart. Um, yeah, bear with me. I'm just going to restart. My frames have just gone to crap. Okay, we're back. Things be, appear to be back to normal now. Don't know what that was, but whatever I picked up, the game did not like it. And was getting about three frames a second. Oh, we have a crossbow over here. please. Very nice. Oops. Alright, I do need to eat, so maybe I'll work my way through some of these pumpkins. Free up some space in my backpack. deal with this rat that was chasing me. Okay, so I'll make a point to collect these projectiles as well, because now we can actually use them. Where was that rat? It was around this corner. Is that right there? to deal with things. Okay, what else was there to see in this little room? There's more about fighting. A good fighter knows how to manage their fatigue. If you run around and slash in every direction or block without stopping, you will quickly run out of breath and be in no condition to fight. To survive, perform a powerful attack or several quick attacks but always keep some energy to dodge or block. 
Never block if you're already exhausted or you'll have a bad time. A good fighter knows how to dance with their opponent. You have to know how to move, rotate and dodge, always staying out of reach of your opponent while keeping them in range. A good fighter knows how to anticipate their opponent's attacks. Instead of running all over the place, watch the attacker carefully and learn to read their movements. When they start to attack, first dodge, then strike and finally defeat them. Sounds simple. Another shield. Targets. This door is locked. Is that a wand with a hand on it? Interesting. So the first question is, is there a key? Not seeing one. But was there another way in? There was a ladder. With a trap right at the bottom. <laughs> so if I find that ladder, I need to be uh, mindful of that. Make our way upstairs and see what else we can find. Oh man. There's a trap right there. What is that? So like blades or spikes shoot out of the wall. More arrows. This bed doesn't count as a bedroll. Because why would you sleep in comfort when you can sleep on a thin piece of material on the ground? board a bowl of ghost tones can I equip my knife Ooh, they're hiding gold under the bed get out of here uh, I'm going to equip this knife because I just want to see if I can actually use that to chop these banners I can uh, there we go so that's why we want to do it there could be hidden goodies behind each of these banners I could hop my way over this wall by the looks of it. I kind of feel like I had some unfinished business first, but may as well have a look. Another trophy? Acrobat trophy. Nice. Do I want to drop down? Not right there, I don't. <laughs> For that reason. Drop a light in there and see what's... Oh, there's rats. Okay. Graveyard. Is this where the skeleton pops out? Open that and return to the starting area. Gotta be mindful of that rat there. A door under the graveyard. I'm just gonna check the last little area in here first. Well, I assume it's a little area. Could be anything. Do you reckon they're sadistic enough to put traps under rugs? Or behind banners on the wall? Or wallpaper, I should say. Golden 
Saborium? Probably not saying that right. But I'll take it. You can precisely place items in the world from the inventory screen by selecting an item and clicking where you want to place it. Do I want to put that on... Uh, selecting the item and clicking where you want to place it. That's not it. Is that what we wanted to do? Or do we need to find another one? Doesn't have to be exact. Interesting. Oh, what's that? What's that right there? A little pointy boy. Oh, that's a bad angle too. That would hurt. <laughs> X, Q, and E are used to lean forward, left, and right. Oh. Cool. Lean forward. That's I don't think I've seen that in a game before. Very cool. Do we think this game has mimics? I, I kind of think that's a given. Books, I don't want books. Get that out of here. So, is that just going to jab out the front, do we think? Oh, man. And just standing there and copying that. No, thank you. All right. Inventory is full. Better eat another pumpkin. Still don't trust this rug, so I'm not going near it. Definitely not dropping down there. Can I move this? I can. What's in there? Oh, remains. Don't know what I expected. How do I save my items? Got some valuables. That rat's dead, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose I save here. I feel like I've got too much crap in here. Like, what do I do with these trophies? Oh, well, I guess I'll uh, let's go for a little stroll. There's this little dungeon under the graveyard. What's the worst that could happen? Is this going to be arrows or a pitfall? Arrows. Which I'll gladly collect. Uh, what do I... What can I get rid of? Candle. 
Although, a light source might be handy. I think I'd rather have a second stack of projectiles though, right? We have a rat. Did you just fall down a... What just happened? Did you just fall through the world or did he die or... Let's reveal another trap for me. Oh, there it is. <laughs> well, better him than me. Oh, it's back to that water room. Okay. Okay, so that's the little church area above us. Man, this is tense. I don't know what to expect. I feel like if I open one of these, something's going to jump out and get me. Or there'll be a trap or something. Everything just feels like it's going to kill me. Good condition mace is probably very handy to have. Slice of bread in return for mace. There we go. Now I can feel a bit better about um, using my club. Wait, I've got a key. What was locked? In that training room, wasn't it? Oh, no way. Piss off. No one said there'd be spiders. Oh, jeez. Get out of here. Didn't sign up for this. Is it worth using my ammo one? Just step backwards, like one little step, buddy. You can do it. God. Screw you, man. Do I even want to open this door now? Is there more? <laughs> Hurry out. Wait, did that pressure plate actually do anything? Oh god, I hate that. Stop jiggling. He's too jiggly. If there's another spider in here or something, I'm just going to flip. There is a lever. I don't trust it. It's going to like open a wall and spiders will come out or something like that. Okay, that trap must have closed it all behind you and trapped you in here with the spider. Bloody hell. It's like, it didn't even get me, and I'm still shook. <laughs> Oh, 
I do just want to see if I can unlock this door. So it was in here. Uh, not that way. Guess not. Stairs so I can fall down into that room. Oh man, now I can't stop thinking about this. Bloody spiders everywhere, god damn it. very much. <laughs> this went from fun to tense very quickly. Alright, so I reckon this is the kind of game that would have a mimic. So I'm just waiting to see if there's like a telltale sign, like the, the chest might move. I think it's uh, is it Elden Ring or Dark Souls 3 where the the mimic chest would just, like, if you're watching the enough, that would just slightly move. Golden ring. Okay. All right, that one's got the old sword. Sword to the Nads trap. Gemstone ring. That I can't carry because I'm too busy carrying a piece of bread. I'll swap you. Can desks be trapped too? I'm just going to assume everything is. An invoice. Client the never looted dungeon. Security audit of the front door. Installation of fire extinguishers. Treatment of all dungeon doors against fire and magic. Three goblins died during lethality of traps testing. Family compensation is the responsibility of the client. Total with taxes, 712,000 gold coins. The Dungeon Security Guild's Guild thanks you for using its services and hopes to see you again very soon. Interesting world building. Following our security audit, we must inform you that the entrance to your dungeon has critical flaws that urgently require fixing. It is not recommended to hide the front door key in the secret room of the chapel located next to the entrance, okay? The puzzle with the statues to open the secret door in the chapel is far too easy to solve. So I think if you are stuck and you found that, that would probably help you out a lot. Unfortunately, we didn't come here first. I guess that's the only place left to go. I wonder if I run up here. What will the rat do? He's climbing the stairs.
Give it up. Nice. How's the full damage in this, I wonder? Oh, yep, it's there. What have you got? Cheese? An almost broken knife and a goat skin. Can't really take any of it. door is locked. Well then. Equip the key and then hold. Okay. Equip. We are in. Though, I don't think I got into that locked room, did I? There's more to explore here. However... Trust nothing. Um... Jesus, there's got to be something. Can you like jam these up? Hmm. Is it going to hold? Stuck myself here. No, we're good. I swear to God, if there's a spider in here, I'm rage quitting. I trust nothing. Is that wee little rat? Oh well, whatever happens. There you go. An hour. Bloody hell, that was the quickest hour ever. And that was just level one. Surely the demo doesn't keep going. Congratulations, you have successfully entered the never looted dungeon. Well, that was just to get in. It is said to contain a legendary treasure of unimaginable value, protected by traps more treacherous and deadly than you can imagine. If you manage to enter with ease, you are assured wealth and glory. Will you be the first to loot the never looted dungeon? Will you find out why no one has ever looted it? Accept the quest, wishlist on Steam. Well, I've got to say that was actually quite a good experience. It was very, uh, it became very tense. Um, it was very, it was successful in making you question everything you were doing. And usually I'm pretty blase, just, you know, running into rooms and jumping around like a freak. But this one made me stop and think. Uh, the spider spooked me. Um, <laughs> even though it didn't get me like I saw it before it saw me 
I was made very uncomfortable to be potentially trapped in a room with that. Um, but no, this game is actually coming along very nicely. I think this is going to be one to watch. I will leave a link to this one in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Again, I've played the demo as part of the Steam Next Fest in October uh, 2024. And the release date for this one is slated to be 2025. But uh, check it out for yourself. Add it to your wish list. Play the demo if it's still available. And uh, keep an eye on it because this is going to be... Uh, I think this is going to be one to watch. Thank you again for joining me for this. If you like this and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. And as you've seen, I like to cover indie games, new and upcoming, and VR games as well. So if you have any game suggestions for me, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.